Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video though is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this special Photoshop text video, I'll show you how to make this interesting special effect look on your type, this kind of a spacey nebulous type look. We'll do a couple different things. So I'll do one with space, one with kind of a bright burning glow effect. And then after the, at the end of this video, I will show you some variations on this, some ways that you can adjust and get different looks very, very quickly. Okay, let's start off with a new file. Here we go, I have this set at 21 by 15 with 300 resolution. We want to start off by filling this with black as our background. So let's just grab our paint bucket and fill that. There we go. We now want to have some text on here and I'll use that same space effect. I'm using Gilsange Ultra Bold. It's just a, a big fat typeface. You can actually see stuff inside the letters. If you don't happen to have this typeface, this one's easily available online. Just do a search for Gil Sands Ultra Bold font and you'll find it all over the place. So readily available. Okay, I'll click into here. Set your type color to white. There we go. And I'll just type in space, make sure I spell that correctly. We can resize the text now to make it large, make it fit the space a bit better. So edit and transform scale. And I'll just drag the corner out. Notice I can just I can actually change the height, the width, whatever I want to on this to get a, a nice size. But about here is pretty good. This gives me lots of, of room to play with and some space around. About one letter's worth of space on the sides is about right. Okay, that takes care of that effect. Now, we're only going to be using this to create our additional text layer. This is just going to be a, a an in-between stage. So let's copy this. Bring it down to our new layer button down there. Make a copy of that. I'll hide the original. We're now going to rasterize this layer. Over here, there we go. Right click on that side, rasterize type. So it's now just some text. We're going to be putting in a gradient into our text. And we'll need to do that by making our gradient colors. For this, I'm using a light blue and a dark blue on the gradient. So go over here and let's change our foreground color to a dark blue down here somewhere. Choose OK. Let's change the background color to a light blue. You run in there somewhere, that's pretty good. You don't have to be exact on these as long as you're close enough that will show you the effect. Okay, we're now going to fill this with our gradient. Easy way to do this is to hold the control key down and click right there on the thumbnail and that then selects just the text. Grab our gradient tool. Make sure you have your gradient selected. It should be right there at the first slot. And then just pull down your gradient. There we go. I mean, you can do your real short if you want to or real long. Real short will give you a stronger effect. Kind of like that. Looks pretty good. At this point, we can deselect that layer. And there we go. That's our basic coloration. We're now going to create a, another copy of this layer. So let's make that new layer right there, just right above. And just leave that as is. We're not going to be doing anything with that quite yet. Above this now, we're going to make another new layer right here. Now on this layer, we'll be creating what are called difference clouds and you can create those using any coloration you want, but I'm going to leave the colors over here, foreground, background. The difference clouds are created using your foreground and your background colors. You can control the color of your clouds with these 
options here. You also can change the colors of your clouds later on. We'll talk about that a little later on in the video. Okay, so filter, come down to render right here and clouds. There we go. You can see how this is its just a random cloud effect and it is basing the colors on the foreground and background color right over there. Okay, so far so good. Now we want to take this cloud effect and apply it into this type layer. So the cloud effect is in the type layer. So that's our next step. And we'll do that with a blending mode right up here. We want the color dodge. So come down here and just scroll down to color dodge right there. That puts it into that layer and also makes it a lot brighter as you can see. So we've now brought that into this layer. So this layer is that look. Now if I hide this and they start kind of working together, we still have that as our background layer, but we'll see how that works in just a little bit. So this blends to the layer below it. Okay, now to get that weird cloudy effect, all we have to do is blur out this layer. And we can do that with the Gaussian blur filter. So filter and blur and then Gaussian blur. And instantly, there you go. There is that effect. Now you can come in here and adjust the amount of cloudy effect based upon how soft you make this layer. And that controls how far out those clouds are going to go. Notice that at some point here, we don't get any additional effect. But something in there is pretty good. Choose OK. And there's the basis of that effect. We get this kind of cloudy effect happening in here in behind our type. If you want to improve the look of your type a little bit, you can come in and actually work with your different controls down here, your layer styles, either from the layer styles button right there or up here, layer menu, and then come down to layer style. Let's just take a look at doing an outer glow on this one. We can use that just for a little thin highlight on the edges of our letters. And just the size just a little bit. And that gives us just a kind of a highlight on there, making the letters a little bit easier to see. You know, anything in here you can do, you know, inner shadow if you want to, get a bit of a shadowing effect in there. So you can have some fun with these and control the effect of the letters, make the letters look a little more visible if you want to. There we go. But that's the basics of this particular technique. Now different typefaces of course will have different qualities as far as how things are showing through and you can control the amount of this effect in here by controlling the opacity of your cloud layer. Bring the opacity down and it tones down the effect, bring it up and it sharpens up that effect. On the Gaussian blur layer in here, same thing if I bring that down, notice how the clouds go down but the type layer stays very very bright. We'll talk about variations on this again at the end of this video segment and see what else you can do to this to change and modify the look of this this image. Let's now do another one and we'll use different colors this time. File New. We'll leave all these settings as is. Choose OK. Once again we need to fill this with black so let's put our colors back to their default settings and grab the Paint Bucket tool and fill that with black. We're going to put in our text again. Make sure your text color up here is set to white. I'll just drag up upper left hand corner there. So text color at white. And we'll type in glow this time. We'll be doing the same basic steps with a couple little twists on this one. Let's resize our text, transform and scale and then find a nice basic look in here about like that we next need to duplicate our layer so let's grab that bring it down to the new layer button there we are duplicate layer hide this one we're going to rasterize this layer so we can apply a gradient into our text so right click rasterize type there it is Hold down the control key, click on your thumbnail, and that selects our type. So that's all ready to go. Let's now set up our gradient. We want a dark 
and then a light color. So I'm going to come down here and do a real dark kind of a brick red for the foreground, and then I want a real light yellow. There we are. I want a lot of separation between the values here, dark to light, on those. And then let's put our gradient inside that. The gradient should be the first one up here, upper left hand corner. Looks good. I'll just pull out a little short gradient. There we go. Just something like that. And now we can deselect. Make a copy of your text layer again. Pull that down, new layer button. There's your copy of that text layer. Make a new layer above that. We'll put our clouds on this new layer. And the clouds will use the foreground and background colors we have right there. So filter and render and clouds. There we go. Blend the clouds into that second text layer. Using color dodge, blends it in, gives you much, much brighter colors as you can see here. When you do that, it really brightens things up. And then we blur out this top text layer that gives us our background effect. Now, because these bright colors, it's going to be a little hard to see our text at this next point. So we'll, I'll show you how you can adjust that. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. This is sitting we already had, so looks pretty good. Nice kind of fiery background in there. I like that. Choose OK. There's our fiery glow. Now notice that the text gets hard to see in here. So we're going to pull the text and move it above the cloud layer, which puts the text in front of that fiery glow background instead of being in behind. Let's now do a little bit of layer styling on this. Layer, layer style. And Let's just do an outer glow. The default's always a light yellow, so we'll just do a little bit of outer glow on that. There we go. Kind of blends in that color. The yellow works out very, very well for this. Let's do a little bit of an inner shadowing on this. Here's the inner shadow. And let's adjust the size of that just a touch so that we can see the bottom of our text. You can you know, play around with the choke and some of those things to get just the effect that you want. and choose OK. And there's that nice kind of glow effect. Now the main difference here, of course, is that we put our text above instead of below. But there we are. There's the kind of spacey look. And here's this glowing effect. OK, now as I mentioned, I was going to be showing you just some variations on this, what you can do to make variations on your text. Let's go back here and do this one. We just saw that one variation. If I take my text layer and move it to the top, puts the text in front, it gives me a whole different effect. There's nothing inside. Now, if you want to have some of that coloration inside of your text, just change your blending mode here to multiply, and that pulls in some of that color into your text. Now notice we have an outer glow on this, so we can still see where our shape is. If I hide that outer glow, we kind of lose the effect of that text, so that the outer glow is very, very necessary to give us that ability to actually see that type. So you have that as one option. You can you know, put the text above and then move that in. Something else you can do, I'll put the text down below here, is you can have more than one of these cloud layers. I'm just going to keep these colors over here, and let's do another cloud layer. There we go, cloud layer 2, and filter, render, clouds. There we go, same thing. I'm going to be doing a color dodge on that. And you get multiple colors in there in the clouds. And the clouds are random. Notice that the patterns are different. It's because of that we have this random effect. You can change the size of this, by the way. You can actually take this layer and resize the layer. You know, put your control handles out so you have different sizes on your clouds as well. And you can get these kind of weird multi effects. Now, as you do that, notice that the, the text is really going white. It's really burning out at this point. So if you're doing this multi level effect, you probably want to pull your text in front so you can actually read what the text says. You can also put your text halfway through if you want to. You can put it in between your two cloud layers. Again, for a slightly different effect on that. So you have a lot of options in there. You also can control the coloration down here by using hue saturation, image adjustments and hue saturation. And you can then adjust the color value 
of your different layers. Notice that the color value has a distinct impact on how this works because we are blending or dodging one color into the other. So the difference in colors will have different effects on that color dodge. Same thing with the saturation. If I increase or decrease the saturation, you get different effects in there as well. And same thing on, on the lighting. So by using the hue and saturation, especially if you're using two layers in here, you can really control the effect of those colors. Let's just make a little additional separation in here since we have the text above our layer. Double click on effects, bring this up. Let's put a little drop shadow in here and bring it out just a little bit like that and let's soften that out a bit. There we go, just a touch. Just helps us get some separation on the bottom of our letters. So you can do some real fancy effects in here as you can see by using this trick and it's all based on using a secondary text layer and then blending modes to blend your different layers together. So there we go. That is how to do this kind of glowing text effect. There's one version and here's a second version and keep in mind that you can do multiple layers in here on your clouds and you can position your text between different layers for different qualities, different effects on that depending upon what it is that you're looking for, how much you want to have actually in that text and keep in mind that you also can blend the layers in here up into this text layer by using your different blending modes. I'm just going to use my mouse wheel and just pull the just kind of roll it down and see the effects here as I go through these different blending modes. They have all kinds of different effects in there. Always worthwhile to do a little bit of experimentation when you're working on this kind of a project to see what you can come up with. And we're back up to our normal setting. Okay, there you go. That's how to do glowing text. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.